Okay, this is lecture six, and I'm going to talk about uh, some system components, uh, basically the pipes, valves, and fittings. This is a very short lecture. This is kind of fill in some of the gaps and, and reemphasize a few things. Okay, um, again, this is just a slide here showing you what we're going to cover. So as we look at the pipes, as I mentioned earlier in lecture three and four, the largest outlay of, of capital in any kind of design is going to be the pipe. And so selecting the right pipe is going to be important. Uh, there are various types, uh, ductile iron pipe, which you'll see abbreviated DIP, steel pipe, uh, polyvinyl chloride PVC, asbestos cement pipe ACP, and reinforced concrete pressure pipes RCPP. The standards for these are contained uh, in the American Waterworks Association in their C-series of standards. So when you look at figuring out what pipe to specify for your project, you're going to look at uh, various factors, including the fluid properties. Uh, is it corrosive or scale forming? Uh, uh, you know, what are the what are the corrosion and, and scale forming properties of the fluid? What's the viscosity of the fluid? Of course, for the most part, we are uh, in this class dealing with water, so uh, the corrosivity is going to be minor unless you're dealing with something that would be uh, from some sort of treatment process uh, that you might have some uh, some acid uh, or some you know acid uh, types of or more acidic types of fluids that you're moving from one location to the other. Then there's service conditions. What kind of pressure are you going to encounter? Is the atmosphere going to be cor corrosive? How about the availability of what you're buying, you know, the pipe that you're specifying, uh, size, thickness, fitting, can you get that readily available where the cost is not prohibitive to uh, truck it a long way to your building location? How about the prop, uh, pipe properties, the strength, ductility, uh, corrosion resistance, the fluid resist, uh, friction resistance and lining? Uh, here in the lab at, the, at campus, we have been doing some testing for a pipe manufacturing company, just trying to nail down the effective uh, uh, roughness of the pipe itself, and so that's a f major factor when you look at those major, you know, the major losses, the friction losses. The lower that uh, resistance uh, to flow, then the better, you know, more economical. The less pumping you have to have in order to get uh, the fluid from point A to point B. And then lastly is the economics. What's the life of that pipe? The maintenance cost on it, the re the the cost to actually to procure it, and then the repair cost. So these are a, a few tables of just the pro and pros and cons of, of out of your textbook of of, uh, of exposed pipe. Um, you know you've got uh, the advantages and the disadvantages. You can read this yourself uh, as you look at the various types of pipe from ductile iron to steel. Um, you know for uh, uh, the PVC as well, and I'll leave that to you to uh, to read on your own. Uh, as I remind you, the, f the friction properties of pipe and head loss, the major losses, uh, as I mentioned, the, the, f the uh, frictional resistance, that is the major thing to overcome. I mean, you have the, the minor losses, which are due to the uh, valves and the fittings and, and things, but the, the, the uh, head loss due to friction is going to be the, the larger value. And so uh, picking a pipe that has uh, a, a low uh, effective roughness is going to be uh, a huge uh, a benefit uh, into the amount of uh, pumping or uh, added energy you have to have in your in, into your system to be able to get your fluid there. And we've already covered the Darcy Weisbach equation and the Hazen Williams in lecture three. Again, uh, I want to reemphasize what I mentioned in lecture three was that uh, the, depending on if you're using Hazen Williams. Uh, one equation gives you the head loss per thousand feet or thousand meters of pipe, which is this upper equation here. This equation at the bottom gives you the head loss uh, directly in feet or meters. Pipe roughness, um, as you, you recall, the Moody diagram, we've already given a, an example on the board, but uh, you can either use the Moody diagram or the James equation. But if you do not know the flow, the, the best thing to do is assume um, a, uh, a wholly turbulent flow so that the friction uh, factor F is just purely dependent upon the relative roughness. Work through your problem, come up with a, a value of, of the flow, plug it back in with, as because you know then the Reynolds number. Once you have the flow, you know the Reynolds number because you can compute the velocity. 
and recompute your value of f. If it matches, you're good. If it, if it doesn't, then you use the new value of f and you keep iterating until you get a constant value of, of f. Uh, for pipe fittings and valves and things, these are some tables in your textbook. Uh, you, you can also look these up in design manuals, but you can see that for like entrances of pipes, uh, the bell mouth has a, a much smaller value of, of K because it allows for a gradual transition as opposed to a square edged or a projecting pipe. And so um, same thing with, with uh, your fittings. Uh, you can see the values of the K. Again, the, the big thing here is the sum of those coefficients, uh, energy loss coefficients uh, times the, the velocity head. Here's some more values you can see for different types of fittings. Uh, when we talk about the valves, again, just to remind you, the isolation valve is, is uh, used to kind of isolate a portion of the system for repair. Your check valve is only to, to allow uh, flow in one direction. And then control valve is to uh, re regulate flow or pressure. And here are some, uh, some diagrams and cartoons of, of what those kind of valves look like. Uh, for valves, here again, same thing as any kind of uh, fitting that you have, uh, you know, that we've talked about prior, you're going to have a K value for the valves. And you can see sometimes they can be quite large in terms of their, their, their value for the K. All right, that concludes uh, lecture uh, number uh, six.